Hi guys. So the first game of Money for Frost. Uh, and as you can see that we finished playing surfers. Uh, so we have like, as I said, 16 tiles. They glue together. They still... Th what's weird? They still drying. <laughs> yeah. After a week. Uh, that will be my opponent. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> Yes, yes. That's, the, that's the guy from who I have an airbrush, so... No, no cheers for him! <laughs> ah, and he said that's his first time and he got the private options for his face, so you can't use it for any adverts or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's the, that's the terrain setup for this one. Uh, there is like two first terrains I made with the airbrush. Uh, I got my in here. Yeah, just scap pile and some dangerous terrain, so we just need to flip for them if they're going to play or not. I'm using my dreamer. What are you using? I think I want to use the cult of December for now. Okay, so that's his blue team in here. Yeah, without this one. <laughs> yeah. And that's his blue team. Uh, that's a lot more than I have, so I don't like this. Well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, but still, still there. <laughs> Too much points for that. So. Yeah, I think we'll go like 25 points. Yeah, true, but the, the basic, basic crew is almost the rough Putina, and I hate rough Putina in English. <laughs> true. Rough Putina, rough Putina. Rough Putina. Whatever. Rough Putina is. Uh, with, with her basic crew on the, on the set box, it's uh, almost at 20, 20 points, then you have nothing after that. Oh, you still have, uh, she has something in her pocket with side up, and you have yes, some other over. But so, to so some points, but it's not, not enough for, for that. Okay. I, I was thinking that uh, only use... So the, let's go up to 28 and I will make a daydream for myself. Uh, <laughs> from blue tag because I don't have a model. Uh, <laughs> I think we start with the 25, but I will change the basic group to a second. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Okay, so see you after the first storm or something like that. This is my daydream. Beautiful model, huh? And this painting, just look at it. <laughs> okay, so we are ready to play. As you can see, we needed to change the table. Uh, so, uh, his objective is to like conquer a uh, 5 by 5 inches terrain in the middle of the table, so we decide to move the mountains, and so he needed to take over the mine. Uh, and that's his December code in this corner. There's a December acolyte already on the target. I don't like it as well. That's his option. And that's my whole crew for now. One small dreamer. Everything else is borrowed. I'm going with the Stitch Together and Teddy and Copilius. They're so bloody expensive, I couldn't take even my beautifully made uh, daydream. <laughs> so yeah, and now we are just going to start. Okay, so the end of the first turn, uh, my dreamer uh, is here. He just fly twice and walk twice. Uh, ah, my target for the victory is to kill his master, so I'm going for Rasputina. Uh, as for his, he just basically moved all of them a little. And then... Yes, no. Yeah, and Rasputina used her special ability to freeze a terrain piece, so he freezed the mine and forgot that this uh, acolyte doesn't have a frozen heart, so basically the guy is frozen in place. <laughs> so he couldn't, <laughs> he couldn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. For now, nothing much else going on. We're just walking. Okay, after the second turn, uh, we have some things happen. Uh, so basically my dreamer went for the first move he he flew from here and here, then he moved into here, then he unborrowed the teddy on the top of the mountain there, and then he fly away in there. So basically after that, his December acolyte, who was hiding in the shadows on the mountain, uh, shot the teddy, gave him two wounds, and that was all. Then the teddy activated, regenerated the two wounds, charged on him, <laughs> and eat him. Basically, that was a great, <laughs> great call for the severe wounds for the teeth, like 10 wounds, only 7 wounds possible. <laughs> so one shot, one dead. 
It's my point of view. Um, yeah, and basically the rest of his crew just moves up and they're coming. Probably this turn there will be a more action going on. We'll see. Okay. Okay, after another turn uh, we have a lot of things going on. So basically my Teddy is there. He's just putting a... He moved a Wendigo and cast the... Uh, oh, the potent special ability to cast the uh, master spell, and he... What was that? Nuke. <laughs> yeah, that was Nuke. Uh, okay. uh, the, the December I curse. Was... Yeah. And he, he flipped like Red Joker, and then he flipped for another moderate damage, so he put like 9 damage instantly, taking out Teddy out. 9. Probably 9. Yeah, yeah. 5 plus 4. Yeah, 9. Yeah. yeah. So I flew my dreamer from there to here, unburied uh, Copilius and Stitch together. Uh, they Copilius attacked Golem, took his eye out. They still don't know how he can possibly take an ice cube and <laughs> call it an eye, but anyway. And Stitch together tried to uh, twice attack uh, Rasputina with the spell, but he failed each time. And basically, we will see what will happen now, but now there will be a lot of fighting going on. So we'll see you next time. Okay, end of the another turn. And as I said, there was interesting. So, what, what's happening here? Uh, he wants... Uh, he wants... Who's moving first? Uh, your big boy. Yeah, he, yeah. he moved... Uh, he moved Rasputina a little. And at the same time he moved Wendigo to the mountain which he need to take over. He cast the Rasput Rasputina casted the, his, uh, she's nuke <laughs> on the group in here. But I defend, right? Yeah, you defend that. Yeah, I defend that, so nothing happens in here. But my prize but not yeah. the price of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then my dreamer flew to the Rasputina and changed to the Lord Chompy bit. Uh, he tried to hit Rasputina three times, four times, something like that. Four. Four times, yes. And he managed just to wound her once, but for four wounds. Three. Three wounds? No, four wounds. Four. Yeah, four wounds. Uh, then his horror cuts, which we, which we thought is just a, you know, awful, awful model, which like three small cuts, but they almost take over the Lord Chompy bits out. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, he, he managed to give him like... Eight wounds or something like that, seven wounds, something like that. Uh, one minute. Yes. Yeah, yeah, seven, seven, seven wounds. That's when I have tried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when he finished, my Copilius, which got a flurry from uh, Dreamer, uh, he attacked four times, three times for the Golem, and with the last attack he took him over, yes. because uh, I feel the Red Joker. Oh, <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> And then I tried to attack his hard pride, but I missed. Uh, Stitch together went there and tried to attack the hard cards, and he he did one wound. So that that allowed the uh, Lord Trumpy to heal himself. Ah, and also Copilius eat his eye and uh, allow Lord Trumpy to heal himself. Yeah. So that's probably will be the last turn now. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> or maybe not, we'll see. <laughs> okay, probably the last, uh, sorry, previous, uh, previous... What's the name? <laughs> <laughs> okay, after this turn, as you can see, the, the board is quite clean now. So basically, I want the initiative. So I activate the Lord Chumpy Bits, who killed his, uh, his Horcuts. After uh, I have killed your... No, no, that was first. I killed your whole cards, then I changed okay. the Lord Chompy bits for the Dreamer, then Rasputina activate and kill the, uh, kill the kid. Don't my pussy, whatever that means. Excuse <laughs> 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 yeah, so. so he basically turned back to the Lord Chompy bit. Uh, my stitch together killed the Rasputina, and now I'm trying to <laughs> get up to the Wendigo who is taking over the hills. But you know, I like, I like the, the style of the Wendigo, and it looks like running out of somewhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah Kapil is coming after him. <laughs>
And that's the end of the game. The Wendigo turned back and jumped on the Coppelius and wanted to kill him, but he failed. And the Coppelius killed him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, how do you feel after the first game? Yeah, it was a very nice one. It's long because the first game is the book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The How long we played? We started like 11? Uh, no, it really took 12 or something like that. Because yeah, so, so it's like, like yeah, yeah, it's now like 3 or after 3, so like 3 and a half hours probably. Yeah. Just playing. Yeah. <laughs> nice game, nice game, yeah. but, but the fate is really <laughs> strange. <man. laughs> Have the fate, man. Yeah. But even you know, if you don't have the luck in the games, if you have the luck in the game, love. Love? <laughs> yeah. Love? <laughs> okay, so that was the first game. Uh, yeah. Probably we'll make some videos from the other ones too. So see you next time. See you. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>